Hi, Steve Stein from Guitar Zoom here, and welcome to my beginner guitar course video lesson series here on YouTube. Now, in this video, what we're going to do is start at the very beginning, and we're just going to talk about the parts of the guitar. We're going to look at both an acoustic and electric guitar very quickly, so I don't uh, waste your time. But let's it would be nice to know the parts of this. So let's go ahead and take a look at this. A guitar is basically comprised of three different parts, the head, the neck, and the body. Okay, if we look at the head of the guitar, the top of the guitar here, what we've got are these things which are called tuning keys or tuning pegs or tuners. We call these different kinds of things, but that's what they are. And we can see that the strings attach onto these and that's how we tune the guitar with these tuning pegs. Okay, the second part of the guitar is the neck. And this is where all of the action is done, where we make different things on the guitar to create sounds. And there's really two different parts to the neck of the guitar. There's the front of it, which we refer to as the fingerboard or fretboard, and we'll talk about that in a second. This is where our fingers go. This is where we make all of the, the sounds that we want to play. Are all done here on the fingerboard or fretboard. Now, why do we call it a fretboard? Well, because we have these little metal bars you can see running up and down the guitar. These are called frets. And what they do is they break the guitar, the, the neck of the guitar, into pieces. So if you look here, and we're going to learn how to do this, but just watch this. If I put my finger in this first space and squeeze down, I get a sound. If I move to the next one, I get a higher sound. So we don't actually play on the metal bar or the fret itself. We always play in between those. And we're going to talk more about that in just a little bit when we actually get our, guitar, our fingers on the guitar and start making some sounds. So we have the head, which has the tuning pegs or tuning keys. We have the neck, which has the fingerboard or fretboard. And of course, the frets on it. And then that attaches onto the body of the guitar. Now, the body of the guitar has quite a number of different things. The first thing you'll see is this big hole in the center, if you have an acoustic guitar. That's called the sound hole, and we tend to play over that sound hole when we're strumming or finger picking. We tend to try and play right over the top of that. Okay? Now, on the body, we also have this part back here, which is referred to as the bridge. Okay? and the saddle. Now, if we look at this right here, what you'll notice is the strings are all attached in here. Okay, and then we have this thing right here. This is called the saddle. Now, what's unique about the saddle is, if we think about it, if we follow the string from the saddle all the way across the guitar, it hits this thing right here. Okay, this is called the nut. And what happens is, if you think about it, the way the guitar is constructed, from the nut all the way down to the saddle, the string is elevated just slightly so it's not touching these frets, these metal bars. And then what we do as guitar players is we simply pull back that string at whichever fret we want, and that's how the sound is created. Okay, so head, neck, body. Head has the tuning pegs or tuning keys, whatever you want to call it. On the neck, we have the fretboard or fingerboard, and of course, those frets, those metal bars that are separating the neck into different pieces so we can press down and get different sounds. Okay, and then we have the, the body of the guitar that has the sound hole, okay, has the bridge back here, and then it has that saddle right there. And the saddle and the nut work together to elevate that string so we can then pull it back and get the sounds that we're looking for. So that's the first step here is just learning some of the parts of the guitar. Now, um, I'm going to switch guitars, I'll be right back, and I'm going to show you an electric guitar. Okay, so now I've got myself an electric guitar. And with this beginner guitar series, you can play acoustic or electric. It doesn't make any difference, okay? Now, the electric guitar has a lot of the same parts. It's got the head, neck, and the body, that sort of thing. But the biggest difference here is, of course, because it is electric, it needs to be plugged into something to be heard. Now, I can strum it, but you don't hear it very much. If I plug it into an amplifier or something like that, you're going to hear it a lot more. So the big difference here is, is that with an electric guitar, you don't have a sound hole okay, where the sound is created and the sound comes out of the guitar, you have what's called pickups. These are called pickups, okay? So the sound 
is picked up by these, this, the vibration of the string, and it's sent through a cable that's then sent through my amplifier. So the pickups are the big difference. Now, because you have these pickups, you oftentimes will have a volume control, maybe a tone control or something like that. And again, we're not gonna get real deep into that, but just understand that the difference between an acoustic guitar is that an acoustic guitar can make sound on its own, an electric guitar requires some sort of amplifier or something to run into. And the big difference between the two, of course, is the acoustic guitar has a sound hole and the electric guitar has the pickups. So if this is helping you, please make sure that you like and share uh, this video. And there is a link to the playlist below. Um, and there's also a link below to some free training, a free guitar course that I want to give you as well. So you can click on that.